Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how you can fake stop motion using Cinema 4D. So here I've got a scene that I built out of a stormtrooper running in a hangar while shooting. It's currently 24 frames a second and 2 seconds long. After I was done building everything out I just hit command D on the keyboard to bring up the project settings and changed it from 24 frames a second to 12 frames a second and it's still 2 seconds long. So really we're just removing every other frame to give it more of the stuttering look. And now to add to this stop motion look, I gave my camera a redshift camera tag so that we can add some bokeh. And you can go pretty intense with this if you want because traditionally stop motion's done with miniature sets and figures. So I overrid the bokeh and enabled it and then switched the derive from camera settings to none. That allows us to determine our own circle of confusion value and manually set the focus distance. I decided to go with a more mild blur from the bokeh and change the COC to Three. I then turned on the focus distance keyframes at the beginning of the project timeline and then in the redshift render view click the click to focus button. This will allow you to click anywhere in your scene and it will change the focus distance to wherever you click. So I click the stormtrooper's head, set a keyframe, move to the end of the project timeline and then click the stormtrooper's head again and set another keyframe. Now in the render settings make sure the output frame rate matches your project's new frame rate of 12 frames per second. Now make sure that it's set to render all frames, I rendered them as PNGs after I gave them a location. Now something that will add to the stop motion look is making sure that you don't render with motion blur, which is great for us because that would just add to the render time. Now go ahead and render it out and once that's done, open up After Effects and locate your render. Now just click on that first PNG and make sure that PNG sequence is clicked on. Then you're going to hit open and then right click on that render and go to interpret footage, main, and then change it to 12 frames per second if it's not already there. Once that's done, just click and drag your render into a new composition and then you can keep editing it or export it whatever you want and then that's it that's how you fake stop motion in cinema 4d i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something if you did leave me a thumbs up comment what you thought down below and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one